guys, welcome back. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for constantly supporting us and thank you for is it 22,000 subscribers? Let me just confirm. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, like I said, thank you very, very much for 22,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, keep commenting, keep. Um, subscribing keep sharing with people and just keep watching us or watching me we are very very um, grateful um, like I said if you're new welcome feel free to suggest anything that you want to see on this channel uh, trailers music pranks whatever it is that you want to see to be reacted on this feel free if it's trending if it's not still just suggest something suggest it by giving us a name or the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to whatever you suggest so today i'm going to be by the way i started my own personal channel called funny lungu so search for funny lungu on youtube go there subscribe and enjoy the content that i'm yet to start putting out so yeah so today i'm going to be reacting to they came after muslim women so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Sunday. It's Sunday evening. We've had a tiring week and I'm sure we're in our gym jams getting ready to turn in so we can start fresh tomorrow. I was thinking the same thing, but then I saw this video. So I just got an email. They know where I live. They have got my daughter's details on the email. They've given the school details and everything. Yeah, my, my daughters are involved now in this. As some of you might know that my car was damaged in this whole thing. I'm done. I don't, I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to talk about Jeffrey Marsh. I've deleted everything. Like some of you have found old pictures of me. <laughs> and uploaded it on TikTok without my hijab. So just to give context to this, this is a Muslim hijabi comedian who's also a TikToker who goes by the name of Shumirun Nessa. She made a couple of videos regarding a creep called Jeffrey March. Hey kids. Good lord. So they're stalking her and her kids, they're damaging her car and they're posting pictures of her without the hijab. That's caused her now to delete all of her videos. Upon checking her videos, when addressing this Jeffrey guy, she used his pronouns, she wasn't hateful towards the LGBT community and frankly she was spot on mate. She was right on the money with this guy. Firstly, this guy is encouraging kids to go on his private Patreon page and to talk to him. I want to talk to the kids. That's why I made a Patreon, so that we could talk about it, so that we could connect in a way that has more privacy and I wanted to spend more connected time with you. So firstly he's encouraging kids to go on his Patreon page and Talk to him. You're probably thinking, hey, he's just giving advice. He's not talking about anything inappropriate. It's about Jeff and I having sex. And if that's not all, on top of that, he's encouraging kids to cut off contact with their parents. I will tell you about going no contact. So you've decided to go no contact with your family. <laughs> it's that time of year again when you start thinking about going no contact. Contact. You're going to love it. Make me sick. And the bloody icing on the bloody cake. I coach a lot of people one on one who want to go no contact with their parents. And then he goes on to say, Hey, I'm gonna be your family. <laughs> if you need a family, you can come hang out with me. I love you very much. If you do not have a family that loves you, I'm going to be your family. And then the cherry on the cake. Just in case there's some doubt with that kid and he loves his family. Your parents screwed up. It's okay to say so. <laughs> okay, so my first question is, why the heck is this guy still allowed to be on social media? Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! 
A few other people have made videos against him and I don't see the same being done to them. So my question is, are you people deliberately picking on someone that you think is weaker? I mean, why aren't you picking on Matt Walsh? Why aren't you picking on other people that have uploaded this sort of stuff? And why are you insulting this woman's religion? I thought you were all inclusive. And also where's the free speech brigade? Yeah, where are you guys? And also the feminists because here is a woman whose pictures are being leaked. Where are you guys? Yeah, solidarity with women. And where are the far right guys, the people who love going to these groomers and exposing them? Because you know the LGBT lobby will cause you problems. It's gonna affect your dosh mate. Yeah, your money, your pounds, your dollars, your wonga. If you guys know this sister, please show her support. Please help her family, she's worried about her kids. And to all those people forcing your ideology on other people, I'm sorry, but we're just not gonna have it and we're not gonna stop either. The more you do stuff like this, the more you are hurting your own cause. Decided to go no contact with your family. <laughs> but then coming to our schools and having people do these weird dances and these drag queens coming, that's going over the top mate. And when it comes to our kids, we will speak out. Let's leave it there guys, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. It's very unfortunate that they have to drag an innocent child in something that she's not, he or she is not taking part in, you know. Uh, if you want to crucify the mother, it, it's okay because she's one that said whatever she said. But then I feel like internet bullies choose who to bully, you know. This person can say this and it's okay. But if this other person says the same exact thing, then it's time to crucify something there's um it's just not youtube it's just not tiktok it happens on twitter as well there's always someone getting dragged on sunday there's always some sort of drama it's like people live off drama and if you feed into it you allow these haters to win you know at the end of the day as long as you're making a video and putting it out there you should know that you're opening yourself up for um criticism you never know who's watching it might be your neighbors it might be i don't know but that will always come back to you this is why we should be very very careful of what we put out um say whatever you want to say and prepare to face the drama of it all but to bully someone's religion because of someone that they something that they said doesn't really make sense you know why not just bully that person alone and leave the religion out of it why not bully that person alone and leave the children out of it you know it really doesn't make sense why should you vandalize the car why should you vandalize the property it that part will never make sense to me you can we preach what we're fond of saying free speech free speech but when someone speaks against something that we believe in then we have an issue with that which is crazy where does my freedom of speech start and end you know because i as a person should be able to comment on something the way i want to comment if you want to have a productive conversation give me your point of views in the comment section or something or start your own youtube and give your own point of view we watch it you know support it whatever the situation is be tiktok youtube um Twitter it really doesn't matter we shouldn't uh, be these people that that's what I always say the people that say the most things on the internet bad things uh, threatening you insulting you in person they would never do such a thing you know they're just keyboard warriors I feel like the people that just try to fight people on the internet should find something better to do and if you're speaking against something that's bad then at least try if someone is speaking against something that's bad, try to understand where they're coming from. Try to understand that point. It's not always that you have to jump in and say something. If you don't like her content, don't watch it. It's always been that simple. If she doesn't like your content, she doesn't have to engage with it. You can mute it, you can block it. There's so many things to do to avoid certain things coming on your timeline. It's really, really up to you to figure out 
what you want in life than choosing to bully someone to tears you know what do you get from that scaring someone what do you get gain from that it really doesn't give you anything at the end of the day yes you're going to be the pompous person behind the camera but we can't even see that you're feeling proud of the insults that you've unleashed onto the internet you know so be kind in whatever you do be kind let people speak their mind if you don't like it don't like it you don't have to interact with them mute them block whatever it is for your own sanity let me know what you guys actually think about this video and don't encourage bad acts if someone is speaking out why would children speak to someone they don't know why would children have to cut contact with parents that's wrong our parents birthed us we should appreciate them we don't have to talk to them every day but we should appreciate their existence we don't have to cut any contact let me know what you guys think if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below by giving me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video